There are three footwork drills I like to use with beginners in helping them learn how to move in that boxing stance so that they can punch from that stance regardless of the position that they are in. And we are going to use a skipping rope, as you can see behind me, stretched out in a line with weight plates on either side to keep it straight, okay? In the first row, we're going to move up and down the line, like so, in stance. Okay? We're going to lift our front leg, we're going to press our back leg to move forward. We're going to pick up our back leg and bring it that exact same distance that the front leg traveled, okay? And then to move back, we're going to pick up our back leg and press our front leg to move back. Yep? A big mistake that beginners will make is that they'll travel forward to their front leg and then bring their back leg much too close to their front leg. This ruins our stance. As I said, we want to maintain our stance. We can't punch from this position, okay? Regardless of the position that I'm in, okay? Regardless of where I am, you know, up and down the line, I can punch from that position, okay? Another mistake, people will pick their front leg up and they'll step over like so, okay? All you're just doing is raising your leg up slightly. Then you can just glide across like that. It should be fast, okay? Small lift and press. Just a, small, uh, just a quick glide, okay? Keep your hands up during these drills to help us keep our hands up and get ready to punch, okay? That's our guard. That's also just to keep our hands up ready to punch. Yeah? Moving on to the lateral step drill. With the lateral step drill, we're going to place one leg close beside the line. In stance, we're going to lift that leg up. We're going to press it off the other leg. And the other leg will land directly close to the line as well. Just like that. Okay? Maintain your stance. Just because we're stepping laterally, it doesn't mean that we can't maintain our position. Okay, a big mistake that beginners will make is they'll press off, they'll, when they go over to the other side, they'll land too far away from the line, okay? Even a small amount will make it extremely difficult to step back over to the other side of the line. And then you'll find that, you know, you're, you're ruining your stance when you land, okay? Keep it close beside, move to the other side, keep it close. You see? Simple. Okay, this brings us to... Our final drill, the four square drill. Now with the four square drill, we are combining that forward and back movement and that lateral stepping movement into one drill. Okay? It's called four squares because we start off in square number one. We're now moving into the center of square number two and then square number three and square number four. Okay? Square number two is directly in front of square number one and three is directly across of square number two. Okay? Four, three, two, three, two, one. Yeah? A big mistake that people will make is that when they are stepping across into the square, like square number three from square number two, for example, is that they'll deviate and they won't hold to their squares. Okay? So they'll step into what is somewhere between square number three and square number four and this completely ruins the purpose of the drill because they're now completely out of alignment and they're completely out of position okay we want to practice our accuracy in moving in movement between the squares okay and if you must you can put another another la another skipping rope line across to exact to you know perfectly measure those squares and then you can practice Okay, now with these drills, you can practice them as many times as you like until you have mastered the movement. When, in our next section, we are going to introduce technique on how to punch and technique on combinations. And then we're going to come back to these drills again and you can include them in these drills so that you can get used to moving, landing and throwing a punch regardless of where you are. Okay. Cool, I'll see you guys in the next section.